Da, 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 da. What's up guys? My name is Russ. RWGresearch.com is my website. Today I've got some extremely cool stuff to show you, alright? Today we're dealing with Ed Lee Skeldon from, uh, he, he has uh, built what they call Rock Gate in uh, Homestead, Florida. Um, and basically this place was where he, bu he built this thing. And it's made out of coral rock. And he, it's 1,000 one hundred and like fourteen tons of coral okay and he he quarried this built this castle okay and all by himself no machinery just the devices that he built that he controlled what he basically called manipulated gravity with it he controlled gravity basically he thought okay I know how to what the Egyptians did and that's how they set their stone and he understood that and Basically, he created this whole entire castle all by himself. And then, about what, took him 30 years, I think, to build it. And then later, he actually moved it to Homestead, Florida, where it is now, like 30 miles or something. But he only worked at night, and nobody understood how he did it. And it's very, very interesting. But that whole ordeal comes down to what the, the books that he made. He made a couple of books. One is called Magnetic Current. One is called Sweet 16. And uh, one is called like vegetable and animal life, I think, something like that. Um, but the main one we're talking about here is the um, device which he called the pe perpetual motion holder. Now, in the past, um, I have built a perpetual motion holder on a very small scale and uh, showed a demonstration of this. Now, that was two years ago and two days. Two years, two days ago. All right, and to prove that, I'm going to show you something. This video right here is that device that I had made two years ago. There I am, all right? And I encourage you to go watch this video. Now, what's what you've got to look at here is this right here, the upload date, August 18th, 2010, by me. All right, now, in this video, I call it the TPU. It's really called the Perpetual Motion Holder, but uh, the, the document I found on it said TPU. Um, so basically, there's what it looks like, all right? And uh, the second video, which I have up, we'll look at the date on it. All right, still August 18th. This is the second video. I had to make it in two parts because of the time. I only had so much time to upload it. So that is just proof of that I had it at that date. Now, a couple days after I made this video, I had basically it attached it just the way it looks, just like that. And actually, I took this picture almost probably a year after because I didn't have this website. All right, rwgresearch.com if you want to check it out. All right, but that date, all right, it has been sitting, actually it's been hanging, on my wall since a couple days after that, which, which it is the, um, just to proof, all right, there's my daughter, by the way, August 20th, all right, and it's 2012. All right, so back here, we're going to go through all my junk that I made in the past since then, and there it is, all right. Now, Ed said that you can let this sit for six months, pull it off, and have the same amount of light. So, guess what? I am going to take this off the wall. It's been here for two years. Very carefully. Alright. I'm going to... Oh, I just moved it. I am going to... Uh, that might have been a bad thing. I pressed it too hard. It kind of moved on me. I'm going to set it down here. Alright. I'll show you that it's still hanging. And uh, now the problem with this is I've got one opportunity to pull this off. This has been sitting for two years and I've got one opportunity. If I screw this up, I'm in big trouble. So what I've got here is two LEDs instead of the one in my original videos. And I've got them hooked up in opposite polarity. So no matter which way the current flows, I will get a charge. All right. Now for those of you who have no idea what I'm about to do, and now you have no idea how important this particular experiment is, well, you're about to find out. So I'm going to hook these wires up the same way that I had in my video, okay? And after I do that, we're going to hook it up to these LEDs, and I'm going to pull this bar off. And now there's a magnetic current that's flowing inside this device, according to Edley Skeldon. And when I break the magnetic current that I've set in motion, which is a perpetual motion holder, it holds the perpetual motion. So I energize the coils and it sends an electric current in both directions. I mean a magnetic current in both directions. And then when I pull this bar off, the magnetic current breaks, goes back into my coils, and I can induce electricity 
um, into a uh, coil or a, a light bulb, or in this case, I'm going to use LEDs. Okay. So that's my setup. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure I got these wires connected exactly correctly. And uh, two years later, two years, we're going to see if this thing still works. Ed says six months it should work. How about two years? I'm so so excited about this. You guys have no idea. So. This All right, guys. I got this recording in uh, 60 frames a second because this is such a fast flash that I actually could not capture it sometimes on my old camera. So my heart is actually uh, pounding right now because if this doesn't work, I'm in trouble um, because two years this thing's been sitting. Are you ready? After this, I've got some pretty cool stuff to show you. Well, here goes nothing. Here goes t two years worth of this thing sitting. Three, two, one. Ha oh, ha ha, it flashed. <laughs> oh, I don't care if you say you couldn't see it. I totally just saw it flash. Two freaking years. Okay, now, that was impressive, to be honest. And, uh,. I'm pretty stoked right now. Um, I'm pretty stoked, actually. I mean, that's that is freaking awesome. Now, now the best thing about this entire adventure is um, because I um, sorry about this bad lighting and bad footage. I uh, just gave a big shout out to my buddy Jason for Billy. And one reason I wanted to do that before I made this video is because he inspired me. Jason, you inspired me to do something. And that was to build a almost full-size scale PMH. So here it is. This is my PMH perpetual motion holder. I cannot believe that just worked. Two freaking years, guys. Alright, and uh, here it is. Um, we're going to do some experiments with this. Now, I do not have the correct light bulb with me, but I, uh, I'm going to actually hang this on a scale. I have a scale right here, and we're going to energize this, we're going to play with it, and I'm going to hang it on this scale, and I'm going to show you guys how much it takes to pull this off. Now, I did hang 80 pounds on this device, and it held it up. So we're going to try that again, but we're going to hang the device... We're going to hang the PMH down and put the bar on top. I'm going to have to tape it so I don't bend my bar. Um, let me get you a better view of this PMH uh, because the lighting down here is really bad. And I apologize. But uh, let's get you a better view of this. Man, I am so stoked right now, you guys. Two freaking years later. It was right. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable what just happened. Too cool. I knew it worked, but I'm hoping I captured it on film. Uh, this is actually energized right now, uh, and you can see how hard it is to get off. Now, this is, Ed calls for an inch and a half bar stock. This is an inch and a quarter. I did bend this myself, and you can see by the bend, it's not very great. It's not perfect. Um, this is basically, I think about 250 foot of number 14 gauge wire. All right, and I did machine the surfaces. All right, polished, machined them with a uh, surfacer. And I surfaced this entire piece just so these fit perfectly flat. Uh, now, really quickly, let me set the camera up a little bit different and change the frame rate back to standard. Alright, guys, I got a little bit higher for you on the camera angle. Got my video switched over, but now you can see this whole thing a little bit better. You can see the polished surfaced edge. Um, this is just sitting on there. Alright, and uh, I did bend this and then straighten it and then machine these all flat. So these fit really, really flat. Um, so what I want to show you real quick, I've just got these two coils tied together, just twisty tied together. This is coming out of the outside of the coil, and then the outside of the coil goes back to the inside of the coil. I got this one hooked up a little bit different than the other one I had, but it still works just fine. Um, so what I'm going to do is just basically energize this with a 9 volt battery. All right, that's it. If you do, if you if you energize this with more than like 12 or 13, 24 volt, 
uh, you saturate the iron to the point where it doesn't really do any extra things. So I just use an eye bolt, and it, it's just enough power, and it works just great. So I've just got one wire on one polarity, set my bar up here, all right, and now it will stay. Okay, so this this will actually just stay on here. All right, oh, you can't see it. Sorry, there you go. This will just stay on here. All right, I probably fall off, break my hand. It, it's it's about 16 pounds. We'll weigh it later, but it stays on there. And then same thing happens when you pull off this power. Um, one bad thing about what I got set up right now is that I don't have the correct light bulb with me. So the uh, I might just wait and do the experiments later. Uh, but one reason I wanted to do this today is because I'm having a tooth pulled tomorrow and I'm probably going to have a really puffed up face for a three days, four days, so whatever. Um, so let's go ahead and do a weight test on this and then I'll come back tomorrow and I'll put it in the same video. We'll do some flash tests. Alright, so let's do some weight tests. Alright guys, sorry, before we do the weight test, I wanted to um, show you this thing. is oh, It's stuck, okay? I mean, that took some force to get off there, alright? But what I wanted to show you is that it does have a little little stickiness to it. It does kind of want to stick. But if I just take this battery and I tap it one way and the other way, basically it's neutralized. It doesn't it doesn't care at all. But if I set it there, I'm gonna get the right side because I dropped it while I was testing the weight, dinged it up. If I just hold it there. Just tap this battery, and it will stay there. Uh, let's go ahead and do the LED flash test. All right, that's fine. We can do that one really quickly, and uh, then you can at least see that. And these LEDs are super bright compared to uh, compared to doing it uh, with that little thing. It's a lot brighter now. So we'll go ahead and just hook this up. this up and uh, you can see it all right here we go all right now I'm gonna try an experiment really quickly I'm gonna hook this polarity up one way and test it and see which bulb hook lights up and then I'm gonna do it the other way and see if the magnetic current is going in a certain direction or not so the first thing I'm gonna do is the positive on the one the red one I disconnected and I'll tap it one two two seconds all right, and we'll pull it off and see what it looks like. I'll do it again, same way. Positive on the one I just pulled off. One, two. All right, kind of, uh, I'm going to do it again. It kind of flashed. It jumped against my thing here. Let me do it again here. One, two. All right. So we'll see which one flashes. All right. And uh, now I'm going to do the opposite. We'll see if the other bulb flashes. We'll see if this thing is polar uh, in a polarity state or not. Two. All right. Look at that. The other light flashed. So it is a polarity thing. So same way. Alright, and you don't have to hold it on it very long, but I did a little bit longer than I maybe should have. Alright, now just for fun, I'm gonna switch it. It looks like my other LED is kind of busted, doesn't it? I may have I may have damaged it. Let's do the other way now. Unless it's just not that bright for me. Maybe it's brighter for you guys than it is for me. Alright, so I did the opposite. And it looks like the other one flashed. Give me one more time to make sure I can see it. Oh, man, you see how hard I had to pull that and it still didn't come off. Yeah, it's really, really, really dim, but they are opposite flashing. I hope you guys can see that. Now, let's do a weight test. This one I'm kind of excited about. Now, I did do this at another location where I actually had weights, but I do have a scale here. And I, I just plan on hanging it from this scale. And just to show you guys how much weight it will hold. 
Um, I'm going to have to scoot back. There you go. Alright. Now the first thing I'm going to do is actually tape this onto here because I don't want it to hit the ground when I do my tests. So let's see, make sure I got the right surface. Like I said, I dropped this thing and I dinged it, so I gotta have the right surface down. Basically, I just don't want this to hit the ground. I did this <laughs> last time and it hit the ground. I wasn't very happy about it. Ah. Alright. Make sure you guys can see that scale. Well, that's going to be really fun to hold up there and charge up there. Now, for those of you who haven't seen this, device. There's plenty of, uh, well not plenty, but there are other people on YouTube playing with it. Jason's one of them. Alright, so I got my 9 volt battery right here. I'm just going to tap it. One, two, and now it should hang. Now my problem is, is that since I polished, since I finished these, here let's see what it weighs. 16, 17, 18 pounds. Looks like it weighs about 18, just under 18 pounds. Maybe 17 and a half. Let me zoom in on that so you can see. Maybe. Alright. Now I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll do this twice. The first time I do it, I'm going to give you a full view so you can actually see what's going on. I'm going to put this under it because I'm sure it's going to smoke the concrete. I'm just going to pull on it. I'm just going to pull until it until it pops off. And we'll know how much weight that this thing holds. And I'm going to do this a couple times because sometimes, depending on how you energize this, which polarity, it seems like the structure of the steel is better off. I, I don't understand that, but I can assure you that it's uh, it, it happens. It's real weird. So I'm just going to pull straight down on this. This is going to be loud. Everybody's trying to sleep. Oh man, i got to put more into it than that. Oh man, that was loud. Alright, we'll have to watch the footage. Um, now I did that once just so you can see what happens. I'm going to do it more times, but I'm going to focus in on this. Uh, the scale. It's not quite at zero. It looks like it's sitting at about two. We'll have to reference that. <laughs> Take off two pounds. All right, let's do this again. All right, it's energized, but I'm gonna energize it again now that I got it all on there a little bit better. Oh, see, now what I just did was energize it the opposite polarity, so I got to make sure I get that same polarity every time I do it. That that's what happens. the start of it. I hope I get this the right way this time. And this 9 volt battery is probably half dead. Because I've been doing this demonstration for a while on the same battery. Alright, for right now I'm going to set this battery here and I know which polarity I've got. Positive on this outer coil. And I'm going to do it again with the opposite way. Because I've done this with people who pull, tried to pull it off and it's been better one way and not the other. So, um, here we go. I'll pull straight down on this. Make sure you guys can see it well. Alright, here we go. Oh man, that's loud. Alright, now I'm going to do it again with the same, same polarity as I just had it. And then I want to try switching this bar around. Because I think that has something to do with it too. So it's hanging. Alright, I'm going to do this another time. Then we'll switch. We'll actually turn this bar around. Um, I'm not quite sure I'm going to do that yet without seeing the scale. Alright, here we go. This is hard to do with by hand, but it gives us a reference. Alright, 
that's loud. All right, now I'm going to flip this around. Only I'm going to be able to see it, I guess. Um, or I can move the camera. I'm going to go ahead and, and do the same polarity charge. Or actually, let's do the opposite polarity charge. Let's do the opposite polarity. That should be the same thing. All right. Opposite polarity. So I got the positive on the first coil. There we go. Oh man, that's loud. Okay, so it seemed to be about the same. Around 60 something pounds. Um, so let's flip this around. And let's go opposite polarity of what I just had. So we can still do it this way. I just turn the PMH around. All right, there we go. Um, I don't remember which polarity I just had, it, but oh well. So here we go again. Okay. All right. Seems like it's not not much different. But either way, you can see how much force that that takes to get off there. Um, that was around 65 pounds or so. But uh, that's, I mean, with the device hanging on it. So, um, there you go. Russ with RWGResearch.com. And that is the perpetual motion holder that Ed Lee Scaldon tells you how to build. And in that book, he shows you a bunch of different things um, and different ways that you can test his theories. And he leaves a different... Uh, he leaves a different, he leaves a blank page on the other side uh, of each one of his books. It's kind of weird, and it's like if you can't, if you don't like what I'm saying, if you can do better, then write it over there or something. You have to read it. It's really weird, really worded weird. And a lot of people think that these three books, or maybe four books he wrote, are all decode each other, and they, they tell the whole story, but you got to get them all, and you got to try to decode it. So like CoralCastle.code, uh, TheMagneticUniverse.com, I think. Um, I'll put those links in the description, but um, yeah, cool. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna see just really quickly if I can find a light bulb that will work for this, so I can get this video out to you guys right away. So hold on. What's up, everybody? It's a new day, and uh, I got my mouth closed because I told you I was gonna have my tooth pulled. There's proof. <clears throat> that was about two hours ago. So before this wears off and I'm in pain, let's do this test. I gotta finish this video for you guys. I've got this little bulb. It's a tiny one. Sorry. I was hoping to get a bigger one, but that's what I got on, on my hands. And uh, I'll be doing more experiments with this, and uh, there'll be lots more to come. So just pay attention to my videos. I'm gonna be doing a bunch more experiments. But real quickly, I just want to show you the incandescent bulb. The main reason I want to do this is because incandescent bulbs take some current to light up. LEDs aren't too bad. <clears throat> so basically I'm just going to energize this. Just like I did before. Alright. Now, there's nothing hooked up to this. and we will get electricity out of it from the magnetic current that's flowing with inside of it that will stay there forever if you let it as I just demonstrated so here we go alright I'll do it again I'm going to pull off this side this time alright three Two, one. <clears throat> I'll do it one more time. <clears throat> All right. Let's uh, <clears throat> let's turn the lights off, or at least half of them. Now I can't turn the other ones off right now. 
But uh, this way you can kind of see how bright it is. Three, two, one. All right. So that is Ed Lee Skeldon's perpetual motion holder. And it literally <clears throat> holds the perpetual motion via magnetism in motion forever. Just like that. Now I am going to get uh, bigger batteries and we will uh, try some AC. I've never done that. And see if that works. Um, and just kind of play around with this thing. And I plan on doing a bunch more stuff. But for now, that's what you get. This video really today, the main reason I wanted to make this video, well yesterday, was because of this right here. Two years. This sat for two years. And it, well that'll probably make you dizzy. Two years. And it worked just as well as it did if you charged it for two minutes or if you charged it for two years. So, this is Russ, rdamageresearch.com and open-source-energy.org. Until next time, cheers. Peace and love to you all. Thank you for the support. As always, it is needed, and please continue giving support. Leave your comments. I will definitely get back with you. It may take me a month, but I'll get back with you. Peace and love, guys. See ya.